What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog, and I am talking about the iOS 8 ready version of AnyDrop entitled AnyDrop 3. This is, of course, a sequel of a sequel, but AnyDrop basically allows you to share any type of file using AirDrop, hence the name AnyDrop. Any file, AirDrop. You got it? Pretty simple, right? Well, this works with iOS 7 and iOS 8, and it does some really, really cool things. Once you install this app from the Big Boss repo, you'll find an app icon. It is a full-fledged standalone app that allows you to browse the root file system of your iOS device and send basically any file via AirDrop. So I'm just going to launch the app here, and I'm going to go to my home, and there you go. You see the root file system? Very much like iFile. If you've ever used iFile, you know exactly how this is going to work. You can navigate the file structure. Uh, for instance, I'm going to go to my documents folder. Now I see a couple of files out there already. There's two dev files. I can send those to my Mac, and I can also send them to my iPhone if I want to do that, just by tapping the little info button. And there is the share interface, and you can see my AirDrop or my AirDrop compatible devices there uh, come up and they're available. So now I can just tap on, for instance, if I want to send this to my iPhone, just tap on Jeff's iPhone, and it's waiting, and there it goes. There is the invitation to accept. I'm going to accept on the iPhone, and you can see it's sending that file. Now I can do the same thing to my Mac if I want to do that, and it's sent right over to the Mac. Just that simple. So simple, so easy. Uh, that is basically the meat and potatoes of AnyDrop3. That is how you send any type of file uh, to a Mac or to your iPhone. Now, if you are sending this to an iPhone, it's best if the iPhone is jailbroken and has iFile installed. It works best. It's not an absolute requirement, but to me, it works best because you can, of course, open all types of files within iFile, which makes it really easy and simple to use. Now, as far as other features, of course, at the bottom of the screen, you have the different tabs. So any files that you have downloaded, you can view those by tapping the downloads tab. Of course, you have your home tab, you have your trash tab, you have your world tab, which allows you basically to connect to a server on the same Wi-Fi network. So basically all I do is I go to the world tab, make sure I'm connected to Wi-Fi on both my Mac and this device here, type in the IP address and that allows you to connect. Now in the bottom left hand corner, you see a little cog there that allows you to empty the trash, show hidden files, etc. So there's two additional features I want to talk about. Well, I'll talk about them really briefly, especially the first one. The first one is YouTube compatibility. And I'll just leave it at that because YouTube doesn't like you to talk about YouTube stuff with these types of videos. So I'll just leave it at that. And then you also have music sharing. Now, this is a little tricky because music sharing works if you sync your files the old school way. That means hooking up manually to iTunes, syncing MP3s directly from your computer to your iPhone like that. Now, I don't use manual syncing. I use iTunes Match, so all my stuff's stored in the cloud. I use iTunes in the cloud, so purchases are stored in the cloud, and I can recover those purchases. So this is not compatible with those types of downloads or those types of um, music files. You have to actually sync manually. For instance, if I tap and hold, which is what you normally would do when you want to share a music file, you'll see the AnyDrop3 interface come up, but it'll say very, very, very nicely that file type is not supported. That is because I downloaded this from iTunes. This is iTunes Match, but if I would have manually synced this file, I could share that file as well. So that's a really cool feature to have with AnyDrop3. If you want to try AnyDrop3, then you know what to do. Head over to Cydia's Big Boss repo. There you can download it for $249. It is compatible with iOS 7 and iOS 8. You can share any type of file over AirDrop, and it includes a YouTube and music app extension. Folks, let me know what you think about AnyDrop down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.